Hello dear students, in this session we will uh, derive an expression for uh, velocity of an electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom. Okay. For that what we will do, first we will uh, consider that an electron is uh, revolving around the nucleus. So here there is nucleus, charge on the nucleus is given by plus ze where z is the atomic number. Say this is the radius of the circular orbit. Say this is the sense of rotation. Electron is revolving like this. See, this is how electron is revolving. Okay. So when the electron is revolving like this, there is one centripetal force acting on it, and its effect is outwards. Okay. So here, okay, here at this point, okay, at this point, centrifugal reaction is acting outwards. Yeah. This is centripetal force, but there is a electrostatic force of attraction because here there is electron. Electron is negative charge between this uh, positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electron. So there is a electrostatic force of attraction. So that is in this direction. Okay. Now this electron should not go out. Electron should not fall into the nucleus. Means. This electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force. So, therefore, we can uh, start our derivation like this. <coughs> electrostatic force of attraction or centripetal force should be equal to electrostatic force. Okay. Now, what does it mean? Centripetal force mv square by r is equal to electrostatic force of attraction 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 ze ze plus ze into e divided by r square, r square. now uh, what happens here is uh, 1 r here and 1 r here gets cancelled and i'll write this r here so what happens m v square r is equal to in the numerator there is z e into e z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is there i'll write this as equation number one then uh, according to according to bohr's postulate okay bohr's uh, uh, second postulate second postulate angular momentum of electrons revolving around the nucleus should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi angular momentum m v r it should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi angular multi momentum should be integral mo multiple of h by 2 pi okay so we got two equations now finding the expression for velocity is very simple now what we will do equation 1 divided by equation 2 gives so what happens this m and this m gets cancelled this r and this r gets cancelled and 1 v gets cancelled so we are left with v equal to z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught divided by n h by 2 pi or i can write multiplied by 2 pi by nh I can write so what happens okay this pi pi gets cancelled 2 goes twice so I got velocity of an electron in the nth orbit is equal to z e square z e square divided by 2 epsilon naught nh z e square divided by 2 epsilon naught nh now, uh, in case of hydrogen atom, so in the question they have uh, written for hydrogen atom, for hydrogen atom, what is atomic number? Z is equal to 1. So, then what we get? Velocity of electron in the nth orbit is equal to E square divided by 2 epsilon naught nh. Okay. So, in general, here, velocity of electron in, an, in, a, uh, in an atom is uh, directly proportional to z by n okay in the case of hydrogen atom velocity in the nth orbit 
is inversely proportional to orbit number okay in the case of hydrogen atom because z is already equal to 1 then for uh, n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 1 so velocity velocity the first orbit okay is equal to e square divided by 2 epsilon naught h so which has got a fixed value and that value is 2.18 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second or you can for simplicity you can uh, uh, remember it as v1 equal to 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second in the in case of entrance examinations you can use this okay then uh, if in the, in the case of uh, second orbit if n is equal to 2 you divide this by 2 if n is equal to 3 you divide this by 3 then you will get the subsequent answers so for the examination purpose you can uh, stop the derivation here for hydrogen atom okay, you can stop the derivation here okay but this value if you remember it is it will be useful for the neat examination okay thank you very much